Hello viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and I am here to show you a set of five dice and a button and how they work. Uh, ultimately, a uh, few months back I posted a video on a random number generator based on milliner pumpkin growth and the randomization of, of how they output their their fruit uh, that and in a way that in a way that can be used to create a random signal. So what I've done is I have lined a whole bunch of pumpkins up in sequence, uh, one patch for each of the die faces that will uh, output a value one through six based on whichever uh, pumpkin line grows first and come on purple uh, it, it will demonstrate at the push of a button five dice and there we go five two one or five one two one six can't read today anyway that's the inside of it that's the output that's the simple part the hard part is the actual computer back here and this took me a while ultimately I've got five pumpkin patches here and to uh, see in more detail how the uh, pump the melon timer works uh, you can go look at my other video on that um, but the long and short of it is a redstone signal here generated by this torch comes to these repeaters which waits for a pumpkin to grow and then it transmits the signal through the pumpkin up here to the output which feeds in this direction towards the front to an RS NOR latch which sends its signal to the output screen and also along this blue wire to a master reset which just smashes all of the uh, pumpkin so there isn't a, uh, a second signal that comes down until I hit the roll button in there. Uh, for each patch I have a uh, single roll button. This goes over to the building but this button will reset the blue signal, raise all... Hmm. Something grew. Uh, it looks like a two. Let's see if I can do this again without it growing a new pumpkin before I get up here. And now, of course, it's going to take a minute. Let's see here. Ah. And I missed it. It was one of the ones right here in front. It was a six. It was probably. Ah, there's the culprit right there. The signal travels down the line, comes down to the RS NOR latch, receives the power, goes to the output, and goes to the stompers. Now, before I get to this end of the display, I'm going to show you for those who don't know what an RS Norlatch is. Here is a simplified version of what I've got going on. This button will simulate a pumpkin growing. I'm going to go ahead and make it daytime again. And the signal comes in, moves the piston, and, and there's a way to do this without pistons. I just prefer using the piston method. Uh, because I've had issues with the redstone signals uh, not cooperating uh, over distances and the piston seemed to solve that problem for me. Uh, let's see here. Why is that not... Oh, of course. <laughs> there. The signal gets sent from this torch this way, regardless of whether there is a block here or not. And it 
uh, when a block does appear by this piston moving it in place, the signal comes through and generates an output. This blue simulates my, my blue line for the reset, stays powered on, and this purple gen generates the uh, signal down these purple lines up top and down bottom, which go towards the output. And the master reset inside the building just goes through and sends a signal to all of these pistons at once, sending them back to reset the machine, turning off the power to that, allowing the pumpkins to grow again. Now, the reason why there's all this wool is there are four different uh, output options available. The green represents this guy here in the center. The red represents the middle guys on the outside. The purple, these two cross diagonal um, corner pieces. And then the black, these two cross diagonal pieces. And uh, the output signal it was determined by the uh, the red only comes on if it's a six. That's the only circumstance where these pips on the die face will appear. Also on a die face, whenever one of these cr cross corners is uh, active, the other one is. There, there is no either or, it's both or none. And same thing with these two cross ones. And then this center one only appears on the odd numbers. So what I've got here is the output for the one, the three, and the five are the only ones that can send signal down the green line. The output for the six is the only one that can send signal down the red line. And then a combination of the, uh, a different combination of the twos, fours, three, twos, threes, fours, and fives will send signal out the black and purple lines respectively for, for their type. Um, the output is then carried over to one of these faces for each die, and I had to do some creative sculpting to get the signal to climb up and over and around without interfering with each other, but it, it finally got done. This one was one of the more tedious ones here. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. Now, a quick demonstration, I, I hope I can do this quick, uh, is the face plate here, and I will also really quick demonstrate a dumbed down version without all the different outputs of the RS Norlatch to mock that up. Let's see here, I've got the signal. Oh, I need to grab a redstone dust, or a, a redstone repeater. There we go. A piston, a block, oops, a piston, and an oops an output then i've got one bit of power here and one bit of power here there it is without all the extra stuff you've got the input on one end, the input on the other to reset it, the power source for this block here, and then the output. That's all it is. Now this is a bit more complicated. What I've got going on here and with the help of a friend of mine who is far, far better at redstone wiring than I will ever uh, hope to be. Uh, let's get all these colors in here. Don't need that. Uh, and don't need 
that. Need the repeater. All right. First off, so the signal doesn't get baffled by anything else, I've got the redstone wire coming in here to each of the faces by a repeater. Then I've got the signal coming up on the green line. How far out do I have that too? All right. And that's the green line. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Uh, I've got the signal coming in for the red line here. And it is just these. Okay, double checking. And then the red. Then off the sides, I have, let's see here. Well, just to make it match exactly, I have the purple, I'm sorry, the black. which comes over to, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, and then it comes down one, forward one, down another, And one more here. And then it goes down under the bottom. Now is it under the front? Okay, no, it's right there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I believe I had to put that there, just so that wouldn't power that, or that wouldn't power that. Then, I believe it's two redstone dust next. Oh, no. It is a repeater. And then that comes up and interacts with, let's see here. That one right there. So I have to come in like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And up there. Now this will send signal to this block and that will power that redstone. Now I have another block diagonal to this that is there just to prevent the crossed signals coming from a line over here going to that one. But now that is the purple, I'm sorry, the black. And then down in the front, I have th this, a piece here, that, this, this, um, 
Let's see here. That. This. And let's see here. How did I do that? Something isn't lining up right. Oh, that's that's why it's not lining up right. I started it too soon. Well, let's just go ahead and bring this out here. Make it daytime again. Okay. So it came down from here. Oops. That, that, there we go. Then it goes under here. Okay. There, 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 there. And underneath. Uh, let's see here. I believe I did that just to transmit the signal. Now let's test it out. Get a lever. these two diagonals oops I did something wrong here let's see here what I do what I do I sent signal to oh right signal to that and that's why I had the levers on the top So that that wouldn't send signal that way. Okay, let's try this again. The signal for the middle one. The signal for the purple. And lastly, good, the signal for the red. And that's about as compact as we could figure out how to make it. But... That's the output. This is the calculator for determining what output goes where. This is the array for the pumpkin patch. And back in here. Hopefully this won't take too long to demonstrate again. I've got a button which resets the five dice just made it daytime so here in a moment the numbers should start popping up there's a one come on come on any minute now Three. While these last three are waiting to appear, there's a six. Uh, I am working on a multiplayer version of this one that uh, uses uh, a, a lot more pumpkins, so it's not as long of a wait. But uh, it should be able to keep track of scores for, for rolling the dice. Uh, it's going to be a two-player setup. There's another six, and now just waiting for the red. But I have no idea how long that's going to take, so don't hold your breath too long on that. Uh, it will get done eventually. All right, there's a five. But uh, for this, I am going to be including the link to the download for it in the com or the description. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below. Uh, like if you like this video, and I have a lot more coming, so please subscribe, and I will talk to you next time.